the issue with the postino tree is that it's it's meant to be used at least two to three times in a month but in some cases people use it four five six seven and there's going to be a side effect hello guys it's stephanie the health teacher here again on the health lounge with stephanie and today we'll be talking about something very very important which is a question i've gotten a million and one times from a lot of ladies concerning the use of the posting or two otherwise known as the morning after pill are there any side effects wait and let's find out today in this episode pharmacist nuruddin oketade answers the question on a lot of our minds to get more interesting and informative health content here on this channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you'll be the first to know the next time a video drops. Reading Okitade, an intern pharmacist with Maitama District Hospital and Tonya Pharmacy Maitama. Bed control pills, they are, they are pills that contain hormones usually produced by the body but in this case we are using them to prevent conception or pregnancy and they are um, combined, that's the one that has the progesterone and the oestrogen while some that have just the progesterone. Okay, the postinol 2, that's levonogestrel, that's the generic, is a progesterone um, analog. It works in the same way as progesterone, preventing the by, um, preventing conception by either thickening the wall of the cervix or preventing the um, the sperm and the ovum from merging. The issue with the postinol tree is that it's it's meant to be used at least two to three times in a month, but in some cases people use it four five six seven and there's going to be a side effect yes, from some studies the studies that are available now um, the posting no they haven't been they haven't been able to actually get a long-term effect of posting no too you know, because it's just it's something new in the market and it's it causes imbalances because once you have a, a hormone that is normally produced in the body when you are taking it when you are taking it, you are like replacing the one that is already in the body and suppressing the one already there. So it's going to cause hormone imbalance. That's the major one. When you are over, when it's being overused, then this major side effects that usually come, which are breakthrough bleeding, nausea, vomiting. Um, it could also cause um, gaining of weight in some. It has been found to cause gain of weight. And those are the major side effects. Actually, the big true bleeding, which is due to the suppression of the endogenous hormones in the body. It's bleeding that is not your menstrual flow. When you're not due, after taking the um, postinol 2, some women experience bleeding after a day or two, and which lasts about five to seven days. In some, it could be lesser, but mostly five to seven days. And in some places, it could just be droppings, but in some cases, it could be actual bleeding, like the menstrual bleeding. But it's not the menstrual flow. Uh, it's in between, actually, because um, some most is better to be safe and follow the studies. At least from the studies that are done outside, not in Nigeria, they said based on the women that they chose and they picked in that study that have used personal tool frequently, there was no effect on their fertility. But that is just one study. It's good, it, and the fact cannot be cannot be proven worldwide. And anything that has to do with hormones, anything that deregulates the hormonal um, system of the body, usually has a long-term effect. You understand? So it could it would cause infertility if you suppress the normal progesterone secretion in the body, which is necessary for the normal conception. So if that is not available, then conception cannot be so in cases of overuse especially more than three four times in a month continuously it could lead to infertility mm, but not in every woman not every woman just in some women so and you don't know who you are
We are relying on personal too. Yeah, the STDs, the HIV, and some other things that you are not preventing, except apart from the pregnancy. So it's safer to take the condoms, any other one. And as far as proper screening is done for you, from a gynecologist or a doctor, you go to the hospital and you find that you are clear and you, are, you can use, then you can opt for the other forms of birth control, either the intrauterine device or the monthly injections. Those are safer. Postinol 2 should be used within 72 to 120 hours after unprotected sex. But it's more effective within the first 72 hours. After that, it's less effective. It might not cause. In cases where there is already a confirmed pregnancy, it shouldn't be used because it could lead to ectopic pregnancy or complications of pregnancy. Thank you so much, Pharmacist Neridin, for educating us on side effects of the misuse of Postinot 2. We are very grateful. We appreciate your coming on set with us to educate us on these things. You may be wondering, what other option do I have? I've always used the Postinot 2. I've always used birth control pills. What other options do I have? Just relax. There are several other options you could use as a form of birth control or contraception. Just below this video, there's a link to a free resource I put together just for you. <laughs>now in this resource you learn several other methods of birth control aside the condom and even the birth control pill so you could learn about other contraceptive methods and not put your health at risk all the time just check below this video or the link beneath this video and get your copy hold on just before you leave if you liked this video click the thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to our channel so the next time a video is up you will be the first to know it's Stephanie Eon, the health teacher, and I'll be seeing you next time right here on this channel.